guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install CyanogenMod 9 or CyanogenMod 10 to your Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this method has been made available to us by CVPCS and D Hacker of Droid Hive. Uh, CVPCS, he is not of Droid Hive, he kind of does his own thing, but he has uh, put together a Kegzak boot process uh, to get CyanogenMod 10 on this device. Uh, so big shout outs to them and also Beanstown for putting together an awesome tutorial which is linked to in the description. Uh, so in fact we're going to go ahead and pull that up now. So the link in the description will bring you here and from here you're going to want to download a few things. Uh, you'll want to download CyanogenMod 9 or CyanogenMod 10 directly to your phone. Uh, so grab either one of these two files uh, CyanogenMod 9 or CyanogenMod 10 and then grab the corresponding app. So you'll have ICS apps for CM9 and GB apps uh, for CM10 and then you'll also want to grab the corresponding Kegzek Clockwork Mod Recovery and this one you'll download to your computer. Uh, so this is Windows only for now I believe. You'll grab one or the other. So I'm going to install CyanogenMod 10 so you'll need to put this somewhere where you'll remember where it's at and then we're going to need to hook our phone up and run a few ADB commands uh, so we'll go ahead and plug in our phone. First thing we want to do here is make sure that uh, USB debugging is turned on. So we'll go to, sorry about the white balance guys. Uh, we'll go to settings and we'll go to developer options. Be sure to check USB debugging so that way ADB can read your phone. Then we'll go ahead and plug that in and we'll set it to the side for now. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery that has been modified so that CM10 will boot. Uh, like I said, modified by CVPCS that includes the Kegzek uh, boot process. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is, is make sure that that's downloaded. Go to your download folder and uh, you're going to hit shift, right click, and you're going to go to open command window here. And then we're going to copy and paste a few of these prompts here. Uh, so we'll push the new recovery to the SD card. And when that's finished, we will go on to the next one, ADB Shell. You could type these for me, it's quicker just to copy and paste them. And then we'll hit SU and enter, and then we'll go to the next line, copy and paste that, hit enter. And then we'll go to sync, paste that and enter. And then now we can just go uh, reboot recovery. Enter. Okay, so now our phone should be rebooting into recovery. Uh, so we can close out of the ADB altogether, close out of the browser, close out of our download folder, and do everything else on the phone. So as soon as it boots into the modified recovery, we'll go to wipe data, factory reset, select that with the power button. Go to yes, delete all user data. And as soon as that's finished, we're gonna go to wipe cache partition. And we will select wipe cache. Okay, then we're gonna go down to advanced and wipe down it cache. When all that's finished, we're going to go back and install zip from SD card. Choose it from uh, SD card. Let's see, it should be the internal SD card. We're going to download folder. And the first thing we want to do is the CM10. So we'll go ahead and install that. That's going to take a few minutes. So while it's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we'll come back as soon as that's finished. Okay, so that took nowhere near as long as I thought. I mean, it literally took like 30 more seconds. So that was quick. Then we'll go to choose it from SD card, go back to your download folder, and we'll go with that uh, Jelly Bean G apps and install that. It's a pretty simple, straightforward process. Not much to it. And as soon as this is finished, we're just gonna go back and reboot the system. So if all went well, uh, we should be greeted with a signage of mod 9 or signage of mod 10 boot animation. 
in lieu of the official Galaxy S3 boot animation. And they did say that it would pe appear to be boot looping because of the Kegzak recovery. So it's actually just working around the bootloader and loading our custom ROM. So one thing that should be noted here and that we're going to get to is that it's going to seem to take about 5 or 10 minutes to activate um, once it does finally boot. That's not to be worried about. We're going to skip the activation. Whatever you do, don't reboot the phone after it brings up the activation screen. You want to skip the activation and then everything should be fine from there. So now we're finally booting into the system. Like I said, it, it appeared to boot loop two times before it actually booted up. Now this first boot should probably take several minutes. It has to totally reinstall this ROM. Of course, once you feel it rumble, you know it's about to boot up. And there you have it. Now we are on CyanogenMod 10. So I'm going to skip through this and skip through this. And, okay, I didn't have the issue. So some people were saying that they had the issue with activation. Mine booted up fine. It didn't even ask for activation. It just activated automatically. Uh, so I had no issue with that. Hopefully you won't either. But like I said, if the activation screen comes up and it hangs for five minutes, be sure that you click skip, don't reboot, because you may have an issue with that. Uh, so that is how you install CyanogenMod 10. And... We won't do a full run through of this ROM right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a review of the ROM uh, in a separate video. But guys, thanks for watching. You can find me at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Also, follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I've got some giveaways coming up on Twitter, so be sure that you're following me there. Maybe you can win one of these Cruiser Light cases. I'll announce that on Twitter when I'm ready. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, for more information on the Samsung Galaxy S3, I will cover all the root news for that, all the ROMs that come out. You can be assured that I will uh, have coverage on those. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.